Hello, I'm Kathleen Hall, and this is The Way I See It. I'm Ken Pierre, and this is The Way I See It. It's Earth Day, Earth April Day. 22nd, on Sunday. Happy birthday, Earth. Happy Earth Day. <laughs> Happy birthday, Mother. Mother Earth. Mother Earth. And with what's going on with um, the head of the EPA and everything, I don't care what political persuasion you are, this is not <laughs> about that, but there is global warming. Right now you can go look at Hawaii and look at um, the Virgin Islands where Jim and I went every year and you can't go there now. We've been to Puerto Rico. We can't go there now. So uh, look at the people that live on the oceans like my brother and sister and different people where the water's coming in and the polar ice caps are melting. Come on, let's wake up. We're not stupid. There is science. So we got to come together and Earth Day now is more important than ever since we have uh, uh, pulled out of the Paris, the Paris uh, 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 and all kinds of other things. So we have got to be uh, warriors for mother. She's calling us up. To, uh, to love her and be with her. I happen to be in the Audubon Society. He knows I've rescued animals forever. <laughs> I'm a big butterfly, insect person. I try to save everything on the earth. So to watch this degradation mm -hmm. of mother, of our mother, it's all we have, guys. It's all we have. Um, and every sacred, sacred part of it is just a miracle. So, um, and I know you've been all over the world uh, much more than I have and seen the different places in the awe and the beauty of everything from a desert to a mountain, to... To a jungle. And to, to jungle. see a jungle be decimated wow. for corporate use. Uh, I, so I wasn't a part of it, um, but we tried to intervene right. because, you know, habitats are... Every day something is dying. Right. A species is, is dying. So it really hurts me to yeah. see, you know, we try to intervene whenever we... And we try to... Whenever we would be out in the desert, we would try to, you know, clean up, definitely, like, scour the earth to make sure that there you was no human, human footprint there. Good. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's great. Human footprint. That's what we have to look at. Yeah. Um, also, there's health benefits, which, again, you know, that's my little stick. <laughs> but I do love to tell you, to playing in the dirt. And Earth Day is a time to think about you playing in the dirt, even gardening. Please, please don't think, oh, well, she's got a green thumb and I don't. Don't, don't keep labeling yourself as that. Um, what we know is it lowers stress. You produce less cortisol. Um, it gives you an immune boost. And we also have some new studies that show that it can, if over 60, they studied thousands of people over 60 years old and found that people that regularly garden actually reduce the risk for heart attack and stroke as much as 45%. Mm. That's huge. That is. And then brain health and dementia. We've looked at uh, people with Alzheimer's and people that garden actually reduce their risk of Alzheimer's significantly as much as 33% in one study and 40 as the others. Mm. And so we don't know about Alzheimer's. We just can't figure it out yet research-wise and, uh, and a couple people I know that are actively involved in Alzheimer's research. But what we think is when they get outside, they're using hand-eye coordination. They're they're sensually using smell, sight, hearing, touching. Think about it. You're using every sense when you're gardening. And think about uh, dementia and Alzheimer's is the closing, closing down, down of your yeah. sensory mm -hmm. perception. Um, and there's also that feeling of rewarding, planting a flower, planting a tomato. So in, in seeing the cycles of life, it, it doesn't let you pull back. And um, so I think that's absolutely amazing. Don't you think those health things are, are I want to let you know when um, Dr. Hall, Dr. Hall recently went away for about a good 10 days. So I was in charge of everything. She left me a great list of things to do, and it was watering plants. And I felt amazing. I'm not going to lie. I did not. These are outside. Yeah, outside. So I'm over here watering. I, I definitely felt a connection because every day I would see them grow. Uh -huh. I would, you know, look at them. You see them? They look yeah. amazing. They so. Do. Never really done that, but I definitely felt a whole different synergy within my body. Oh, just watering so the plants, not even planting them. Yeah, he told me that when I came back. <laughs> I felt domesticated. <laughs> yeah. I thought how beautiful that is, especially felt, for somebody who's been around the uh, world in the service and worked yeah, so different. hard and, and everything and lived in apartments. And, and now he's really, and, and you lived in New York, so now it's watching him connect to the it's earth. different. And guys. this reverent respect is so amazing. I respect this. So how do we get you um, to play in the dirt and 